Good morning and welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From photographing Robin Williams to presenting at major film festivals, Chris Felver is an insider in the Bay Area art scene and he joins our show this morning. Thanks for coming on. Well, it's lovely to be here. <laughs> All right, so you've been in the business, photography, filmmaking for more than 30 years. Well, I don't look at it as a business. I look at it as a sort of lifestyle. It's Passion? A, well, I try to keep my amateur status, you know, in the French <laughs> sense where you enjoy what you do. <laughs> Why is that? You don't want to go the professional route? <laughs> that uh, that you don't can want get to complicated. Say it. Yeah, I mean, you might lose your enthusiasm. But you are a professional. You have movies under your belt, eight books. Yes, ma'am. And one that just was released a couple months ago. Yes. Tell me about that, American Jukebox. Well, it's uh, Jim Marshall was a was a great photographer from around, from around here, mm -hmm. and I never tackled the music scene until after he died, but we were friends, and so when he died, this sort of book is minorly dedicated to Jim, mm -hmm. in that it has uh, about over 200 pictures with contributions by the uh, musicians sure. and uh, some local musicians, and uh, but it's across the board, sort of like the New York minimalists, mm -hmm. country, pop. Jazz. So very diverse. Very, very. And what inspired you to do a book like that? Well, I hadn't done a book on musicians. Basically, I've mm -hmm. been doing it with uh, an artists and writers and cultural types. And musicians are always cultural types. But sure. I just, it was too big a field for me. And I let Jim do that. And there are other photographers, many photographers, who've done music books. With your eye, what did you see in the musicians that was different than maybe some of the other artists and well, uh, that you've photographed? You know, the highway goes on forever and the party never ends. That's that's the musician's <laughs> life. So, so that's very attractive, you know. Sure. And I used to play music, uh, you know, a few years ago. Okay. As a troubadour. So, so it, it made total sense to me. But it, it, I've always photographed people in uh, moving along, you mm -hmm. know, whether writers or artists or whatever. So the musician scene is perfect because. Is it hard sometimes to capture that perfect moment or do you find it easy? I find it easy, but you have to do it fast right. before someone loses their face or puts a face on you, you know. So I usually do it rather rapidly. There. And uh, so it keeps it fresh, you know. Sure, sure. Well, we have some of your mm. portraits or your pictures here. Let's take a look at some of them. Of course, Robin Williams, who just passed. When was this taken? Well, he was honored at the Mill Valley Film Festival, I guess maybe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was there with his mother, and I was showing a film on Ferlinghetti. And so. Uh, you know, I was allowed to talk to him. <laughs> You're allowed. So, so, so he gave me a moment, and uh, that's what he came up with, you know. But he was, he was a wonderful guy. I mean, uh, I used to see him on his bicycle in Sausalito and where I live in sure. Mill Valley and, and at the depot there. And you know, it's a tragic loss as far as I'm concerned. A know? tragic loss. And it's, you know, when we see a lot of photographs from him, he always has that smile. It's a like, closed mouth smile. But I don't know. I, I don't know what it says. I don't know what he, uh, what his eyes were saying. Do you see anything? His eyes are always bright. He sure. was so sharp and on top of it, and wonderful, wonderful guy. I mean, fast. Well, he, tell me about. I mean, you're into the Bay Area art scene. You know it. You've been in the Bay Area since 1978. Mm -hmm. So you've been here a very long time. Tell me how it's changed. Let's talk about. Uh, yeah, tell me how the art scene has changed from then to now. Well, there's a lot of work now that's digital. You know, I see sure. a lot of photographs that are, are fake. Mm -hmm. And uh, not fake, but I mean contrived and made up. And, sure, photoshopped. And, and yeah, and uh, so I'm basically old school with, uh, I'm still shooting film. Mm -hmm. So uh, to me, it's, uh, it's interesting as what the new imagery is. And we all see that and how much it's speeded up. But I originally came here to work with uh, Beat Generation Mm -hmm. And that uh, City Lights and the group that surrounded that Ginsburg and Corso and Lawrence and yeah Lawrence and uh, so that's how I got started here hanging around and that was of interest to me but North Beach was vibrant at that point in the poetry scene mm -hmm. so there were three or four uh, uh, places to go every night for mm -hmm. the uh, oral tradition you know so. That, that was really wonderful. And so I sort of documented that. But there were other people before me. Ira Nowinski did a book called Cafe Society. And so there were a lot of precedents that uh, got me interested. But it kept me interested. And then, you know, then after a while, I uh, moved to New York to do the same thing. And, sure. and then uh, moved over to Europe and did the same thing. So. Do you mostly do black and whites? That's what I've been doing yeah, for a long time. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, just more traditional for me. It's easier. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but I went to film school and know all about lighting and things. But uh, why is black and white easier? Well, I think it shows the character a little deeper. You know, you're not uh, the saturated color that we have now in all these photographs are uh, interesting. Bay Area man. Well, yeah. Well, sort of. There's black and white. Yeah, and black and white. <laughs> but uh, well, Clint, Clint is in my music book. You know, he did most of the music for all his films. Oh, wow. he, he composed, so he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. Wow, that's quiet great. but wonderful. That's you know? great. Well, yeah. you have a lot of work. Good luck on the uh, good luck on the new book. Just Thank came you out very much. two months ago, American Jukebox. And thanks for coming on the show. It's been marvelous. Thank All right. You. Well, to check out Chris's portraits and his new book, please log on to chrisfelver.com. Again, that's chrisfelver.com. Coming up, we'll hear about much-needed social services in the South Bay. We'll be right back.